Hey, uh, it's Saturday, the 16th of June. Um, I got a notice in the mail uh, about a package delivery. It was express mail. It requires a signature. And so I had to come and um, come in to make arrangements to pick it up. So uh, since it's Saturday, it's my day off. I figured I'd come into town. Um, so I, I stopped at the post office and turned in my package pickup slip. And I got this cool package express mail from Russia. Uh, yeah, this is from uh, Ekimova, Galina, Nikolay Leevna. I don't know how to pronounce this, but uh, it's in Kurov. Kurovskaya Oblast, very cool, Russian Federation, and uh, got this cool Russian Express Mail packaging. I guess I'll I'll put this in my um, souvenir box for sure. Anyway, so I subscribed to my Russia box, my Russian box, and this is my first one. Hopefully, I can continue doing this. Um, to uh, learn a little bit more about Russia and continue making friends. And uh, anyway, so I'm kind of excited about this. Let's see what's inside. Okay, well, there it is, my Russian box. It's a little bit crunched. Maybe some Russophobe got a hold of it in shipping. Uh, you know, if I got a, if I saw a package from Russia, I'd treat it really. I'd treat it better, I think. Anyway. Oh, hashtag my Russian box. Very cool. Oh, look, they're on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Let's take a look. Hmm. see what we have here. Um, it's some sort of, uh, oh, the symbols of Russia. I guess this tells all about this particular box and what's in it. Um, it uh, looks like a nice little postcard in here. And a, a clay whistle that says dust with a soft cloth. Be careful, it's fragile. And um, okay, so we'll see what's in that. First of all, let's see what we have here. What's this? Uh, well, it's it looks like food. It looks like bread like a hard bread roll or donut uh, maybe like a pretzel but with um, it looks like it's got poppy seeds on it. I have no idea what that is but we'll have fun trying. Let's do that right now. Let's see. Well, um, it's a little bit sweet. Nice. Okay. Let's see what else is here. Uh, looks like uh, some sort of chocolate. Oh. Pine nut sweets, pine nuts. Mm. Mm. Pine nuts covered with chocolate. That's that's gonna be good. Um, there are a lot of pine nuts in this area. There are uh, a lot of pine trees. 
um, Ponderosa, higher up on the Colorado Plateau. Um, we've got some smaller pines in the area down here. Pinion pine. That's where pine nuts come from. Here's a little box. Let's see what's in package. Let's see what's in here. Looks like they did a good job wrapping everything, which is pretty good. Well, uh, looks like gingerbread. Uh, what do you call these? Mat Matryoshka doll figures? Matryoshka? I don't know. It smells really good. It smells like ginger. So uh, we got a few of these. Looking at the expiration uh, date, and today's the 15th, or maybe this is the date of manufacture, I don't know. But on the back of these, it says uh, May 31st, 2018. So maybe, maybe they're really fresh. But look at that, and it's very. Uh, Montreoshka gingerbread. Wow. Whoever made these is an artist. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Gosh. You'd almost be feel bad eating these because the the artwork is so nice. Wow. Okay. Let's see, this is fun. here. And it's a uh, it looks like some sort of Maybe a chocolate bar. Not just one. We got a large, semi-large. We <laughs> got this one and this one here. So, um, I don't know. It's uh, baby chocolate. I don't know. I don't know what the. Uh, so much to learn about. Russian in the culture, but I'm not sure the significance of this particular child here. Maybe, um, maybe the owner of the company that's their baby or something. I don't know, but that'll be fun to try. I'm sure that's. Let's just. Uh, looks like they've won some awards. 1997, 1998, 2000. Got some sort of gold award and. The year 2000. So obviously it's probably pretty good stuff. Um, it looks it's got two dates on the back here. September 18th of 2018 is the end date. Maybe the first date is the date of manufacture. I don't know. Uh, September 17th, 2000, or uh, September 18th, 2017. You know, uh, just two dates. So I don't know. Maybe that's a uh, manufacture and expiration. It's pretty convenient, and you can actually read it. Here, you, you need to to decipher what the expiration dates are. Um, they don't. It's like the manufacturers don't want you to know. And maybe this is the something fragile here. This is the toy. Oh, the clay whistle, which was described in this little dossier. 
but this is not a dodgy dossier. This is uh, this is a good one here. Let's, see. Let's open this. So that's a nice um, nice greeting card. It's got the the Kremlin there, and we've got uh, the. Uh, Looks like the church over here and the Kremlin over here. And looks like maybe a new stadium. Uh, I guess this is uh, something to do with Moscow. Oh, and I wonder if that's the Arboretum. I don't know. Nice greeting card. I'll be sure to send that. I've got someone to send this to already. That'll be fun. Okay. And then I guess this is the symbols of Russia. The oh, it's it's the explanation of the of the ingredient of all the items in the box and what they are um, in English. Ooh, it's got Ivan tea with honey. Very cool. I like that. Anyway, got some recipes. Look at that. There's a, a hand weaving. Wow, this is very well done. Whoever, the people that are doing this, my Russian box, they're really putting some attention to detail here. This is really nice. They describe everything. Here's the whistle that we're going to open up. All kinds of great information. That's so cool. I'm going to be reading all of this. Let's see what this whistle's like here. I'm not a musician, so, uh, you know, let's see what happens when we. On this. It looks like um, it's more decorative than functional. Uh, it looks like the it's really pretty and very artistically done, but uh, it looks more ornamental than than functional. I'm sure it'll play, and we got a couple keyholes on either side. Um, so it does make some noise, <laughs> but that's just that's just um, something really pretty and artistic uh, that you'd want to display on a on a shelf as a souvenir. That's really nice. Okay, let's see what else here. Another bag with probably some more food in it. Oh, this is the compressed Ivan tea with honey, I bet. Mmm, you can smell it. Compressed Ivan tea with honey. Oh, that would be fun to try. That smells really good. And I can read all about it here in my compressed Ivan chai. Chai is tea. Uh, firewood tea with honey. Very cool. Um, that'll be fun figuring out how to uh, how to make that tea. So I'll put this back in the bag to preserve the aroma. Uh, what do we have here? This is the handwoven cloth. You know, this is so nice. All this stuff is very nice. And I'm just such a barbarian that I just really—I'm um, not the kind of person that can have nice stuff. 
nice things. And this is very nice. Um, let me see a little bit about this hand weaving here. Oh, here's the here's the card on the hand weaving. Manually produced, amazingly beautiful. Okay, well, it's a beautiful hand woven cloth. And, you know, maybe I could use this to, uh, I wouldn't want to do any cleaning with this or wash dishes or anything. It's way too nice for that. Um, but maybe I could use it as like a doily or something for displaying the other um, treasures, like this whistle over here. Let's take a look. It's just so nice. It's even got a tag sewn on it. But yeah, that's like, uh, wow. You probably want to use that as a, a doily or something for a, a coffee table. Um, and then put some other nice things on there. Well, there's a website on here if you want to order your own. Uzor.nn.ru www.uzor.nn.ru And I'll be removing that tag. And uh, I might have to become more civilized to uh, this is just really too nice for me. Anyway, but uh, let's see what else we have here. Oh, very nice. Look at this beautiful jar of uh, looks like jam. Uh, oh, it's uh, yeah. This is interesting. I've been seeing this. It's like a jam made with pine, it's got pine, some type of cone in it, maybe an amateur uh, pine cone. Uh, maybe it's, they call it pine cone jam. Well, that's interesting. I've wondered about this, and I've been interested in trying it. Is it going to taste like wood? You know, uh, I don't usually eat pine cones. I know pine nuts come from there, but that's going to be really interesting to try. Uh, I've got some bread to put the jam on. And let's see what we can find out about that. Here we go. Here's the card for the pinecone jam. Um, oh, it's unique. Of, it's kind of unique from Siberia. Um, it tastes nice and has an enormous amount of vitamins. Ah, a taiga tree made using miniature cones stewed in the pine syrup. Wow, interesting. The cones are edible, very soft, and just melt in your mouth. Well, I'm going to have to try that. Uh, ooh, it says it preserves the power of Siberia. I could use some of that. It says that it's an excellent antiviral agent. Um, interesting. Well, I'll be trying that. That'll be fun. Pine cones that melt in the mouth. Okay. We're getting to the end of the box here. This is the last item. And it's some more jam, but this time, well, it's actually 
pine nuts and pine syrup. Um, it's just everything's done artistically and the presentation's just really nice. Uh, anyway, there are pine nuts in here in pine syrup. So I've got both um, pine cone jam and pine nut syrup. So that'll be very interesting. So this was my first Russian box. The box is pretty nice, but it did took a bit of a beating on the way here. It looks like it got kind of smushed a little bit. It's a very nice box. But look at all this uh, this stuff, you know? Uh, these gingerbread cookies are way too nice. I'll be sharing this with, with other people. Got all these things here. And all the descriptions and all kinds of good information. Um, it's just great. Quite the haul here. I'll probably be displaying the whistle on the handle of the cloth, the doily. I'll be trying the tea. And I'll definitely be trying this chocolate here. The chocolate probably, that might be one of the first things I test. And uh, anyway, here's the brief contents of the box. Wow, thank you very much, my Russian box. This is great. Uh, anyway, so maybe you can subscribe uh, yourself and get one of these boxes. I've got a, they gave me a, a code to use for to get $10 off. I'll try to share that with you on a below this video and a link or something like that. And uh, I'm looking forward to sending this card. So thanks for watching my Russian box unboxing.